But one airline is attempting to boost confidence in international travel. United announcing it will test all passengers on select flights from Newark to London starting mid-November. Our transportation correspondent Gio Benitez is at Newark Airport with the details. Good morning, Gio. Hey, George, good morning to you. Yeah, you heard James talk about so much of Europe shutting down again. Well, United sees this as part of the solution. They're going to be using a rapid test. This is the machine right here, and they're going to start using it just before the Thanksgiving holiday when millions are expected to travel. This morning, a first look at new testing aimed at reopening international travel. United Airlines announcing it will test all passengers on some flights from Newark to London starting in about two weeks. We can operationalize this type of testing uh, to better support uh, the need for travel and opening up these markets again. For the pilot program, the airline will offer a free rapid COVID test inside its United Club. The test is the Abbott ID Now, a molecular test that's widely used but not as sensitive as the lab-run PCR test and may not pick up patients with a low amount of virus in their system. The Abbott ID Now rapid test is great, but it's not perfect. It can identify those individuals that may have high viral load but are asymptomatic, but it also can lead to false negatives. The pilot program will launch just as cases in Europe are on the rise. I think this type of travel program uh, helps reassure people that we're not importing the virus or um, contributing it you know, to its spread. This on the heels of a Harvard review that says the risk of COVID-19 transmission aboard a plane is reduced to very low levels by onboard ventilation systems coupled with masks, cabin cleaning, and distancing during boarding and deplaning. But researchers are still looking at the potential risk in an airport. And right at the start of the show this morning, I took the test myself. I already have my negative result. But keep in mind that this negative result won't just automatically allow you to skip quarantine restrictions in London. You're still going to need to take another test for that. And always, always, always remember, you have to have that mask on and you have to keep your distance as much as possible. Guys, back to you. You have to keep all of that in mind. Mm -hmm. Gio, thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.